Hello everybody, Camelia here. Welcome to a new uh, sewing vlog. You know, the ones that they are not getting uh, edited and they are just coming on YouTube. So today I'm here to share a little bit, uh, a few things with you. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to share with you about a new uh, pattern insider uh, thing that I got. I'm going to share with you about uh, some news about my sewing machine and a little bit about the secret projects that uh, I made these few weeks uh, and that is why I could not share them here with you in my uh, usual sewing vlogs or vlogs. So uh, first things first, um, I want to talk about the fact that um, I got, um, you know, a few uh, months ago forget me not patterns they uh, send out a newsletter where they were looking for pattern insiders you know like i do the things for uh, sew over it that we get to make some patterns or the patterns and then uh, to share them with the community like a pattern ambassador um so uh, they came with uh, that message and everybody could apply uh, there was a form so I was thinking I really liked the patterns and I was thinking I will apply and see uh, if I get in. And a few weeks back uh, they sent a message that uh, I got in. I was really, really excited. And um, the first pattern, so we get the patterns and uh, we can do our things with them. So my first choice, of course, there are a few that I really, really like. But uh, because we are in the winter time now and it's cold, my uh, first choice was to make uh, the Kirsi uh, cardigan and I want to talk a little bit about it and then I'm going to talk about my uh, sewing machine use. Um, the Kirsi cardigan is, um, you know, it has a big uh, color that is going in a flounce here and uh, it's going in the back. It has a lower part and an upper part and the back is cut with the uh, center back seam it has a little bit of shaping really nice but um, the thing is with this pattern that the wrong side of the fabric is going to show here on the on the collar if you are not uh, making it double you know if you make this piece double then of course it's not going to show but i really wanted a single layer because i knew that it's going to fall really nicely and um, so I decided on the pattern, I, uh, I made a size 38, um, I think I did uh, make a 36 here at the waist and then again 38 at the hips, I'm not sure, but the upper part which is the most important, the shoulders and the bust, they are size 38 and um, I took one centimeter away from the shoulder seam, that's, that's a standard in almost all the patterns I'm making, I made also um, one and a half centimeters sway back adjustment. It is my first pattern, so, but uh, measuring, comparing with other patterns, I decided that it will going to do me well if I'm making that uh, sway back adjustment, that's typical for me, and it really worked really nicely. Um, about the fabric, of course I had a bunch of uh, options, but um, I remember when I was thinking about what I'm going to use, what should I use, what should I use. I really wanted something that I'm going to get a lot of use of it. So I remembered this piece of wool. I have still here a little bit. This is, um, I think it's a wool blend. It's a knitted wool. And as you can see, the, the right side is, um, is really knitted. Uh, knit stitches, you know, the little Vs, if you are a knitter, knit stitches. And the back is really a pearl, the, the little waves. So, but because they are different, the, the threads, the, the fibers are different uh, thicknesses and there is also a little bit of uh, um, sparkly thread in it. Also, even the back side is looking nice. So I was thinking that's going to work really, really great for this pattern. And the, usually I'm washing my fabrics when I'm buying them and when they are arriving, I'm washing them, but things like wool and stuff that I might consider using for clothes that they are going to get, not going to get in the washing machine. I'm not washing them, but the rest usually is getting the wash. So this one, it was not washed. I was first, I was thinking, well, you know, I'm just going to make it. I'm going to cut it and make it. But then it was on the table and I was thinking, this is going to be a garment that is going to get washed and who knows, maybe dried in the dryer by accident. So 
I washed it in the washing machine and put it in the dryer and it came out really soft and nothing changed so I was thinking that's perfect um, because I knew that this is going to uh, to show also the edge here I knew that I will not make a standard hem I could make a standard hem but I really like how soft this is so with that in mind I took really uh, good care to cut the piece is really uh, nice I did use my uh, big shears for this, not the rotary cutter, but even with the shears I did take care to uh, cut everything nice without too much uh, edges, you know, to have a nice uh, straight edge. Um, this is a really fast garment, you get it done if it's cut, even cutting is not taking so long, but if it's the, uh, cut, sewing it really maybe, I don't know, not even an hour, it's a really really fast garment to make. Something uh, to keep in mind is that uh, when making the color piece in one layer that the backs, the center back seam here, I hope you can see it, here when you attach these uh, uh, two pieces they should be attached with the uh, right sides together because you see the right side is here underneath now and otherwise you get the seam here showing. So the most of the garment is constructed with a serger, but the center back seam, I did it with a sewing machine and then uh, top stitched the seam allowances on either side open. And now I get a really nice and flat uh, seam here. Of course, this, uh, this wool, this, the surface is very forgiving and you cannot see much anyway. <coughs> um, I did add some clear elastic in the shoulders to be sure that they are not going to hang too much. It is a little bit of a drop shoulder, at least on me. And for the sleeves I did a zigzag uh, stitch for the hem, just because I was too lazy to put threads in my cover stitch. And for the edges uh, around the flowers and the skirt, I tried some stuff on the serger. I even tried the wave stitch on my serger, but that's really too too. It's uh, the the stitches are too dense, and the, the this is changing. It's not drapey anymore. It was uh, I tested on a piece of uh, on a scrap of fabric. So in the end, I decided to make a zigzag stitch all the way around, also here on the lower edge. So everything is made with a zigzag stitch, and you can see it's still very flowy, and you cannot see it even if you are. Looking very close, you cannot see it. My only little problem was that, and now I'm getting almost to my next uh, subject. I sold my sewing machine. My uh, Puff 720 is sold. It's already, it has already another owner. So I had to sew with this one. You know, my old Puff. I. This one has a name, but it doesn't. Is a this one was an edition that was made for the um, for their uh, anniversary. I am not sure how many years. Is a, is a puff, or is, I don't know, or it was for their one hundred twenty fifth anniversary, something like that. But the problem with this one. And why I'm using this uh, this old machine? I have a newer uh, uh, smart, but that one doesn't has an uh, IDT uh, double transport uh, here in the back. And I find I'm really used for my older uh, from the Puff 720 with with that feature, and I that's why I'm still using this old one. But uh, the problem is that this one has uh, a few zigzag stitches that they are um, in the machine. Let's say I cannot adjust them too much. So I had to work with this, with what this machine gave me, but it's still looking good. And only one second to go back to the to the cardigan. <clears throat> this one is coming also with um, pattern piece for a belt, but I didn't take the time to do to, to make that one because I was pretty sure that it's going to look really really bulky in this fab fabric. So I was thinking, if I really want to have this closed, I could always use a little belt. 
and I'm going to make some pictures of this and I'm going to put them on my Instagram and maybe in a post here on um, on YouTube. I don't know if you guys are checking the community uh, tab here on my channel. Sometimes I have the feeling that nobody's watching, so I, that's why I'm not taking the time to place stuff there. My uh, throat got really, really dry and I had to cough a little bit. <laughs> so, I can always uh, wear this with a belt. As I said, I'm going to try to put some uh, pictures here in the community tab in a few days and you can see them, uh, you can see that how it's looking on. Definitely, I'm going to post, post it also on uh, Instagram. But uh, I'm really happy with it. The fabric, as I said, is really soft and drapey and nice. And probably I'm going to wear this only uh, open. So uh, this is my first project for the Forget Me Not Patterns uh, Pattern Insider program and I'm really really excited about it. The next uh, subject, and I need to hurry up a little bit because my battery is low, is uh, my sewing machine. As I said, I sold my uh, Puff 720 and I saw I sold it um, just because I really wanted to try to uh, not to try. I really wanted a machine with an uh, embroidery uh, unit and I'm going to share with you which one I took at the moment when it's going to arrive. In the meantime I bought some uh, uh, interfacing for embroidery and I have even threads only I uh, found out that it's going to take a while before my new machine is going to arrive. I think uh, mid-November somewhere but uh, I'm really really excited about it and I think it's it's going to, to give me a lot of pleasure and a lot of new things to learn, definitely. But until then, I'm working with uh, with the older puff and it's working great. And as I, I said also other times, you know, when you work with an older machine and it's, doing, it's working so nicely, you almost think, why do I need a computer as a sewing machine and stuff? But I bought that one and I'm really, really excited to, uh, to get it and to start uh, working on it. About the secret projects that I was uh, working on, if you are on uh, the Designer Stitch uh, Facebook group on or on my Instagram or on Designer Stitch, if you um, follow Designer Stitch on Instagram, you probably saw their latest uh, uh, pattern testing call and that is for the Greta dress, a really, really gorgeous um, party dress and I made, I think, three of them uh, during the testing or the pre-testing and uh, two very sparkly and very nice and I also made a velvet version a black one and it was also um, one of those fabrics that did get washed in when it arrived so I used it now again I used only just a little bit uh, in a few months ago I don't know last year when I made the Olivia um, bralette and uh, bottoms from um, designer stitch so it used maybe 30 centimeters so I had really a big length to use the um, to use it for a dress and I made a version of the of the Greta dress in black velvet but the problem is and I noticed that only the next day that uh, my sewing machine at the time I had still the puff it was completely black my serger was black and it took me really finally I I used some uh, all to pose um, wet uh, tissues I think yes that is what uh, uh, rubbed uh, off the the black from the from the plastic from the sewing machine and the serger but I was really really afraid that it's not going to go away they were really really black something else with this uh, with this fabric it was that it's giving a lot of uh, fluff a lot of uh, I don't know uh, you know, I had to vacuum clean everywhere here when I was done with it. So the Greta dress that was one of the um, secret garments that I was uh, that I worked on this weeks, and another one, a jumpsuit, a really cool jumpsuit. I'm not going to say more about that. I really hope Designer Stitch is going to bring it out because it's really really awesome. And uh, I am going to make tonight. I'm going to start to make another one, and I'm going to use. This shiny grey silver um, jersey 
and uh, I'm going to make a, a long leg jumpsuit which is going to be also really nice for parties so this was it for tonight got a little bit long I hope uh, you enjoyed my uh, news after a while and um, stay tuned for more videos I, I hope this month I'm going to keep a little bit more you know not one time in a month videos to post thank you so much for watching everybody and I hope to see you soon Bye!